Wow. Okay. Um, okay. 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 Um, there's just news coming thick and fast from Manchester United. I can't keep up. Um, to be honest, um, it's Old Man G here. I'm back again with some latest Manchester United news. Um, and Edwin Van der Sar is favourite to replace Ed Woodward. Obviously, we broke yesterday. It was broke that Ed Woodward was going to leave following the fallout of what has been a catastrophe regarding the Super League and following reports that Ed Woodward was spearheading the Super League project um and he's obviously set to go i think initial is going to be the end of 2021 looks like he's going to be going out during the summer so reports are coming in that edwin van der sar is set to replace him and i i well it's good it's good i've been calling for edwin van der sar to come in he, he's done wonders at ajax he's been the foundation of ajax and you know where we've got likes of van der beek and um Ziek and what have you he's done a fantastic job so to replace him my chairman, I think is absolutely immense. There's an element of skepticism here for me, just solely because the Glazers are still there. And will the Glazers allow um, Edwin to basically do what he needs to do? Um, will they back? Will they change? I don't know. Um, but um, I want to be optimistic. I want to be optimistic. It's difficult with the Glazers and Charlie Wanderers. Let me just quickly read the article here. This is coming from the Manchester United Evening News. Manchester United legend Edwin van der Sar is favoured to replace Edward at Old Trafford. The Reds announced on Tuesday night that Woodward is set to leave his role as United Executive Vice Chairman after eight years amid backlash from supporters of the controversial proposals, obviously. Woodward is expected um, to leave this role in some perspective has begun over his success. The men have suggested three candidates that could become United's new Executive Vice Chairman and the bookmark has also wasted no time creating a list of their own, of course. Betfair have made United legend on self to place, and the news will be warmly welcomed by sports with the Dutchman having long been linked with the role at Ajax. Van der Sar stood as CEO for uh, for five years after initially acting as a club market director and will the, and the former United goalkeeper makes a huge popular with supporters. His current job are obvious, obviously. Interestingly, Leonardo of Drew, Gavin Evans and Zan are the, then the market leaders after Van der Sar to replace Ed Woodward, although the latter certainly seems sense in incredible far-fetched and highly unlikely and then obviously you've got rafa and, and jose so um that's what the bookies are saying um not necessarily that like it is definitely going to happen um but that is certainly what the bookies are saying i should have read the article beforehand because i was like yeah gas that he's going to be it's like mm, the bookies odds are favorite so it makes sense it makes sense the bookies hey he's the bookies odds to to replace him although let's be real um i won't be surprised at something internal so my skepticism is still there. You know, is it something that's been leaked out so that, um, you know, this can make fans happy and forget about the Glazers? I'm more inclined to, be able to think about the latter. So I'm still hashtag Glazers out. Um, and I suspect that these types of stories are leaked out to appease fans rather than any actual practical uh, benefit. I hope I'm wrong. And I hope that um, Van der Sar does come in um, and the, the Glazers allow him and back him to do what he needs to, to bring Manchester United to what he needs to be. But we'll wait and see. Anyway, if you guys are to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devils, to Joe Falls, and Twitter on X, smash the notification button. Play this Manchester United news. Have a nice day, everyone, and cheers.